Hi, my name is Nasruddin Abdul Salam. It's Arabic for protector of faith and defender of peace. 18, and I practice Islam. My connection with my religion isn't even as much as like a faith. It's not even really faith based. It's just that, you know, that's who I am, you know, like that my last name is in that book, you know, like the protector of faith, the protector of like Nasr Deen. Deen means like faith. Deen means the religion. Like I'm the protector of faith, you know, and my sister's name is Imani. Her name means faith. That's my connection also, like my last name, Defender of Peace. That's one of the 99 names of Allah or one of the 99 ways to like reference God and Islam. So like my religion follows me everywhere I go. Being in America, I was born in 2002, right after 9-11. So all of the Islamophobia or whenever it started, like I got that. One of my least favorite things or stereotypes when it comes to Islam is like just the violence that's associated with it. Like, and you can tell this, the reason why it's my least favorite is just because it's based off of straight ignorance. Like, it's not even based off of evidence or fact. Like, people associate terrorist organizations with um, Islam, but the KKK used to burn crosses in front of black people's houses, but people you get to be Christian freely, you know, like, it's just a weird thing to me that that's always been something that's been held over our religion when it's really one of the most peaceful religions on earth. If you go into any community that happens to be a Islamic community or it's like built around the Quran, it's like a peaceful community. Everything is peaceful, you know, like in Islam, there's even laws to war, you know, in war you don't, kill, you don't uh, burn nature, you don't, um, if someone surrenders, you don't kill that person. No men or women, I mean, no women and children, uh, no historical sites, and that's all things that terrorist organizations do. But for some reason, we're always connected to terrorist organizations just because people are ignorant. Growing up black and Muslim, like, and having all those struggles of like, people telling you about what your religion are, or what your religion is, and who you are, and telling you things about yourself, just like having multiple reasons and mean, like reasons to demean you and stuff like that. Like it really affects your relationship with your religion. Like just to put it in perspective, I don't know what anybody practices, but like being, well, Jewish people are also like very discriminated because of their religion as well. But, um, because America is like a predominantly Christian country, it becomes lost on people how much other people, people who practice other religions actually go through, you know? So like that really affected my connection with my religion growing up because like a religion or a practice or a faith is supposed to be like your source of peace. But like when your source of peace is also your main source of insecurity or the main reason why you get bullied when you step out of the house, it makes it really hard to even embrace it yourself. I feel like it's important for Muslim kids or anybody with any kind of insecurity or who feels like they don't have a voice to express themselves. And I feel like that most definitely for Muslim kids, but it's hard because everything that's like in mainstream art is considered haram in our religion. like alcohol and drugs and promiscuous things and premarital sex and all that other stuff. So it's kind of hard for a lot of Muslim kids to even try to connect with art. And if they do connect with art, they can't really express it. They got to keep it within themselves. But I feel like it's important for people to find a way to express themselves. Like me personally, I rap. I started uh, writing music when I was six. Everybody should feel accepted wherever they go. You know, like whether it's LGBTQ or whether you're black or any minority or any religion, sex, race, creed, you should, be, you should feel welcome wherever you stepped on this earth because if you do believe in any religion, you're a child of God and you're on this earth. So you have just as much claim to any land that's under your feet as any other person does.